Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to this segment of the Eric Blackman Music B.B. King Tribute Tutorial Series. I have been influenced greatly by B.B. King as a guitarist throughout the years and feel honored to be able to bring these tutorials to you. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E and we're going to keep the chords very basic in the way that they are played. We want to keep the background chords very simple and not too busy as not to interfere with the leads that you're going to play across it. I also want to make this easy so that anyone can learn to play it. Now once we learn how to do this you can always improvise or add things to it okay but we're going to keep this very basic. In order to learn the chord shapes go to chord form tutorial number 306 on this channel and I'll show you the chords with the tabs. We're going to start with a B minor chord here at the seventh fret and we're going to strum from a B minor to an E major B minor 7 like that E major and we're going to do it this way 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, Four. Then we'll go to an E minor 7 like this. One, two, three, four, and then we'll add a high D to it here at the 10th fret on the high E string and play that. The same chord, just a high note added to it. Okay? Like that. And then we'll go back to the B minor 7. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we'll move up to G major seven. One, two, three, four. And then F sharp seven, sharp nine. One, two, three, four. Then back to B minor seven. Now that is our entire progression. And that progression is going to be played through the entire song. Now let's hear it and then we'll play through it. We're going to start here at B minor. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Now I'm going to add an accent that goes like this. Now what that is is we're grabbing the B and the G string like this sliding up to fret 9 back to fret 7. We're going to start at fret 7 slide up to fret 9 and go back. So it sounds like this. Now we can insert that little riff anytime we like but here's an example of how we would use that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. 
Now we can add that whenever we like, just to enhance the flavor of the background chords. Well, all right. That's all you need to play to play the background chords for The Thrill is Gone by B.B. King. And as I said before, you can improvise on that any way that you would like to suit your tastes. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day. You know you've done me wrong, baby And you'll be sorry someday